Hey what's up people it is your guy here DJ Cliff welcome again to this wonderful channel if you're new please consider subscribing down below and please don't forget to like and watch this video up to the end now today I just want to give you a very very good glimpse on how you're going to use the touchpad on your virtual DJ 2024 to perform very and very wonderful scratches on your virtual DJ so first of all if you've not seen my previous video I was showing people on how you're going to use the custom mappings using the letter G letter H and letter G for back scratch effect and uh, J for forward scratch and H for Q and stop and actually it was a very good well explained video so just tap on top button you see up there and watch that video if you want to see the custom mappings today I only want to show you on the touch part so please watch this video up to the end and let's like and watch so let's start on so guys these are the keys you really need to look upon like i told you in my previous video if you've not seen how to set these keys just go back and see so this tab button you see right here this one right here it just helps me to select which are part of the jog wheel i want to perform my scratch or maybe what i want to do with that soundtrack so when i tap this you see it's it has gone on the right side when i tap it again it is on the a side which is that which one is which is blue and again let me just touch it so that you can see what really happens there so uh let's just go straight to the point of today we want to use this touchpad for our scratches of today and uh, maybe for example if uh the j uh g and j does not fit you you can also use this touchpad so uh, you have to use your thumb right here. This one has to touch this uh, left button right here. And then uh, this one is going to help you to change the crossfader. So Q, uh, that is crossfader at uh, 0% and S, this crossfader at 50% and E is crossfader at 100%. So these buttons are very essential when you want to perform the scratches on your virtual DJ. So you can see when I tap S, it's right here when i tap q it's at, at this point when i touch e it is at this point so that's how it's supposed to be and see if i want to perform a very good transition so let me just go straight and perform a good scratch so i'm going to unloop this side and i'm going to scratch so i want you to look at my thumb right here and this uh, is my right hand so i'm going to take this part right here and I'm going to, when I, I reach at this point, now I'm just going to stick on this button right here. As you've seen, I've sticked on this button. Then I'm going to tap this Q and S to perform scratches, especially when I'm at this side of uh, B. Sorry, I was not intending to do that. But um, let's try and uh, perform that. So that's queuing. And uh, let me scratch. So I'm going to stick on this. I want you to look at my finger right here. So So another clean scratch. So you see, let me try once more. So H was for Q and then stop. When I touch it once more, it's going to stop the track. And this uh, uh, space button here is only for play. I only uh, wanted it to perform the play because it's big and it's easy for me to touch and go. So, and again, I wanted to remind you something. If you want to perform a very good scratch, uh, or those who usually use, I mean, automatic synchronization, it's quite really bad. You really need to look uh, do these scratches just as the way you see right them on the go so let's try once more and perform a scratch and i'm going to use i mean i'm going to put loop right here so that i'm going to loop this song and perform a good scratch for the beats so i don't want to talk more let's just go <laughs> So let me just record for the purpose for you to really get the real test of the music. So let me just save it as YouTube tutorial. Tutorial, sorry. That way. So let me just start right away. 
So let's try and see. I'm going to unloop this. So let's go. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. So uh, I just performed a very uh, simple scratch. Now, let me just try to give you a glimpse of the patterns you might use on your scratches. So let's just try to play the music and then we see how we are going to use our scratches using the B side. So let me just play and I want you to be very keen with my hands and see what's happening on your screen also, what's happening on my screen and that's what I want you to perform on your own. So let's just play it. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, of the party, of the party, of the party, of the party. So guys, I hope you've learned something on the touchpad using this Q, S, E, and C. So for example, if I want to use the A and C, so let's just try to see how it's gonna sound like. It's just a smooth transition. So let me cue this part. And then let's just try to illustrate the smooth transition when you use the buttons A and C. So this uh, 0%, this plus 10%. So let's how we are gonna we are going to use these on our tracks. Uh, let's try to see how we are going to use these patterns. I'm sorry, there's something I uh, did not show you right. Uh, make sure you've queued. You've queued at least it should be this white line. Then uh, let's try performing with a scratch and then the smooth transition comes in. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the mash up the mash up the mash up. So I'm sure guys you're well sorted out with these scratches you see right here. Just a very simple scratch using this tab A, C, and S and E. So I don't know if you have any questions or any queries about the virtual DJs. Let's meet on the next video. And if you have any question, please just comment on the comment section and let's meet to the next video. Bye bye, guys. Love you.